Ever wonder how Singapore might look from land and sea? Now in this video, we're going to show you the many different sites of Singapore around Marina Bay area. And you also get to hear the stories behind some of these places too. Welcome to our channel. Today is the first day of 2022. Well, we've decided to do something special. Something we've never thought of doing before. Today, we're going to explore Singapore by land and sea. This is the Dark Tours from Suntec City. This unique vehicle, we've seen it before. Many times in fact. And now, we've decided this is the time for us to give it a try. Okay, we are sitting at the 5D 5 e 5 f Hi guys, welcome to our channel. So today we're going to bring you guys travel with the Dark Tour. And this seat that we're on right now is so comfortable. Who I think everybody missed already. Summer Lion. Because I'm wondering. Oh. 
When was the last time you saw the Merlion come close? Can you still remember? Okay, that's why you are on this tour, huh? So in the meantime, just enjoy the view, enjoy the nice breeze blowing, take a lot of pictures. Whatever side you're on, just take pictures of your side and then do the reverse on our return. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, on the left side, prepare your camera, there's a nice angle of the Marina Bay Sands. Coming up now, on our left is the iconic Marina Bay Sands Integrated Resort, or MBS for short. Look up and that is the magnificent skyline, an engineering feat. The observation deck sits on a cantilever platform overhanging the north tower. Also have the Merlion in your sight later, okay? Look how close we are to the Merlion! Oh my god! Please answer is here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the original Merlion, the same Merlion that was installed in 1972 at the back at the mouth of the Singapore River. That was its home for many years until they started to build the Esplanade Bridge. building on our deck is the Art Science Museum. Referred to as the welcoming hand of Singapore, the structure is anchored by the round face in the middle, with ten figure-like extensions. Although it has a resident exhibition, the Art Science Museum mostly hosts touring exhibitions curated by other museums. The structure is central. Ahead is the Helix Bridge. The bridge has four viewing platforms at strategic locations, providing stunning angles of the Singapore skyline as well as underscoring events taking place within the Marina Bay. When night falls, the bridge is illuminated by a series of multi-hued lights that enhance the double helix design, which was inspired by the DNA structure. The multicolored seats on your right are part of the Marina Bay Floating Stadium. It is home to the world's largest floating stage. Made entirely of steel, the floating platform can bear the weight of 9,000 people and 200 tons of stage props. This multi-purpose platform has been converted into a concert arena, a performance stage, and even used sparingly as a football pitch. With a seating capacity of 30,000, it is the prime venue for the annual New Year's Eve countdown concert. The concept of Singapore as a garden city was first introduced by the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew in the 1960s. While developing this country, there was a conscious effort to pepper the concrete jungle with greenery whenever possible. The gardens by the bay sits on prime real estate and cost a whopping U.S. dollars 700 million to build in 2012. Been to the barrage lately? Well, you haven't. On a nice windy day, perfect to fly kite, do exercise, jogging, picnics. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's not the only purpose why we built the Marina Barrage, huh? That now separates the fresh water from inside from the salt water outside. Because what we are sailing on is almost 100% fresh water now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're thirsty, now's the perfect time to have your waters. Come on, drink your waters. Come on. Everybody's encouraged to participate. You are you will be 
in groups. We have one, two, three, four, five. Item that I am looking for. If you are the first person to raise the item, you win the prize. Okay, remember, the fastest one wins. Sunset City is modeled after our left hand. Notice the 
the five finger-like towers surrounding us, the shortest tower on our left represents the thumb. Positioned in the center of the palm is the world's largest fountain. Uniquely, the water flows inward. According to Chinese geomancy, this signifies wealth flowing into one's palm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're now back in Sunset. What? Oh, no! Is the tour over? Oh, oh, we'll miss you all, especially the little duckies on board. Bye! On behalf of the whole Singapore Duck Tour family, together with Captain Tan, my name is Glenn Thank you very much for your support and we wish you a happy Sunset let's all stay safe and healthy bye bye I love that the ride was so fun I recommend everyone to go to the doctor <laughs>